wineries, breweries, events, and more. Maya Acosta here with Claire Scotty today. Claire, how's it going? Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It's already Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. What in the world? Yeah. There's there's turkeys brining yeah. and there's, you know, cranberry sauce being made and, and the potatoes are getting ready to be mashed. And so. I am working on my appetite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is definitely ready. I've been I've been waiting for delicious Thanksgiving food and family and friends. And so I'm I'm looking forward to it. It snuck up. Oh it yeah. Snuck up real fast. It really did. Yeah. But this is a <laughs> wonderful time of year. Um, you, you just get the warm fuzzies. You know, you're around your friends and family. You're coming together over delicious food, sharing stories and all that fun stuff. But if, you know, you've got all these friends and family in town, now is the perfect time to listen in to this episode and uh, figure out what you're going to do this weekend. So we're releasing this a day earlier than we normally do, just so that you can plan out and plan ahead uh, for Thanksgiving weekend. Maybe it's Thanksgiving when you're listening to this and you're cooking your food and uh thanks we're you know so happy to be joining you on yes, this holiday. absolutely absolutely and our breweries and our vineyards do have some wonderful things happening this weekend yeah so listen in on who's closed who's open what's happening who's playing all the good stuff yes Starting with our breweries this holiday week, we have West Lane Brewing. They're going to be open on Black Friday, and they're going to have music bingo and food and fun and, of course, delicious beer. And on Saturday, El Nacho Grande will be serving up delicious food. Local craft beer has Lupita serving up delicious food on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night happens at 6.30 yes. every Wednesday. Um, they probably won't have anything happening on... On you know, open mic night Thursday, but they might have that on Friday. I don't have anything set in stone yet, but I mean, head over there on Friday to see what's going on over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mountain Brewing will be closed for Thanksgiving. However, on November 29th, they're going to have Smoke and Jack Primo playing from 7 to 10. And on December 6th, Chad Bushnell is playing at 7 p.m. This is a free concert in this Western country gentleman. Uh, usually opens up for some much larger acts and so he is very popular but it's really cool that he's visiting us here in Tehachapi and gonna play some of his favorite favorite tunes awesome heading over to our vineyards Tehachapi winery is open Thanksgiving weekend um, starting on Friday they'll be open from noon to six and then on Saturday uh, Saturday and Sunday they'll have charcuterie and Mosner sandwiches and all kinds of delicious stuff available all throughout the weekend on the 6th, they're going to be having a Christmas wreath craft with Classy Flair by Christine at 5 o'clock. And then on the 7th, there's going to be a Christmas picture session with a beautiful classic truck and a cocoa bar and mulled wine. And so if you haven't gotten those holiday pictures taken yet, that would be a great time to do it and oh, then yeah. see if you can turn it around real fast and send it out. <laughs> but if you're if you want those adorable, beautiful holiday pictures, that's a great time to go. Awesome. And then on the 12th of December, they're going to have a very special Christmas market with Santa and Christmas carols by Natalie Franklin, a cocoa bar and music bingo at 6 p.m. Dorner Family Vineyard has they're um, actually they're going to be open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this whole weekend. Sweet. So yeah, isn't that great? That's awesome. So Friday, Brenda Hurst, who is a local harpist, she'll be playing, and then on Saturday, Tom Holden will be there, and on Sunday, Steve Hill will be there. And we know Dorner is gearing up for their German Christmas market on December 7th and 8th. Yes. So wonderful vendors and delicious food, German food, you know, mulled wine, the glue vine, mm. um, all kinds of wonderful, wonderful things to enjoy. And that we know there's a lot to enjoy all over town. Yes, there is. Over at Triassic on Saturday, Grim Bernhoft will be playing. And then on December 8th, they're doing a really pretty wine barrel ring wreath class. <laughs> so proud of myself. I said that. Right. The tongue twister is. It is. <laughs> so when you guys think of a wine barrel, there's that metal ring. There's a couple rings around the, the barrel to hold all the pieces of wood in place. Right. So this class takes that little ring 
and turns it into a beautiful wreath to hang in your home. Cool. And it looks gorgeous. There are several pictures, and I'm like, oh, I need that in my <laughs> house. So $50, 4 to 6 p.m. at Triassic. And in order to get into this event, you have to click the link on the post on Facebook on the Triassic page. So go to Facebook, Triassic. They have the event listed at the top of their page. Click the link, get in. All right. Yeah. On December 1st, there's going to be truffles and toffee with Vladimir Lit, and it's a full wine pairing. So delicious chocolates and sweets. And, you know, Vladimir is always a hit. You know, he's mm-hmm. super fun and he loves talking about how he makes his chocolates and so many wonderful things that go with that. So $35 for non-members, $30 for members, 1 to 3 p.m. on December 1st. And you can call this number to get those reservations. 661-822-5341. Awesome. Stray leaves will unfortunately be closed. They're going to give the whole week off to their staff. And so we look forward to seeing them again next week. And Hatch Me Wine and Cattle Company is a little bit of a mystery. I'm not sure what all they have going on, but they normally are open on Thanksgiving weekend. Yes, very yes. good. And, and if you have all sorts of friends and family in town, Claire, how can people kind of get the, the maximize their time here? Yes. Well, thank you for asking. Discover to Hatchby is working this Thanksgiving weekend. And so there's a couple spots left. If you have friends and family over and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with all these people this weekend? Mm -hmm. Take them on a wine tour. There you go. You can see three different wineries. Full tastings are included. A customized lunch made to your specifications. If you have dietary preferences, we can easily handle that in our um, A-grade custom kitchen (laughs) that we have and um you know everything is included from you know water snacks dad jokes um a a wine tasting demonstration all kinds of fun stuff so awesome great way to uh yeah make things simple you you've got all the stress going of cooking your holiday dinner so uh let Discovered Hatchby make it easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Head over to discoveredhatchby.com. All the details are there. It's easy to book. And you can book 24 hours in advance. So if you get everybody coming in Thursday and you're talking about it over your meal and you decide, oh, yeah, let's do that. It's not too late. You can book. Awesome. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> what else is happening around town? Yes. So it's a little quiet this weekend, but everybody's gearing up for the holidays. And we know Black Friday is a big shopping day, especially online. But we want to make sure everybody knows of all the wonderful gift shops and shopping that we have here in our own community. Now, Shop Small Saturday is a big day in Tehachapi. And a lot of businesses are pulling it out. They have discounts. They have specials. They have, you know, different hot cocoa bars. You know, like they're doing it really, really well. And Wits is especially doing a big event on November 30th, Shop Small Saturday. They're going to have various sales. They're going to have free ornaments. They're going to have sales. They're going to have free ornaments for everyone. The Santa will be there from noon to two. They're going to be doing a coloring contest and a kid's craft. Very cool. Yeah, really cool. And then on December 7th, Early in the morning, (laughs) it's early for me in the winter time, Mm -hmm. starting at 7 a.m., there is a new group who are coming together to run together. Awesome. It's the new Tehachapi Running Club. And they meet at Meadowbrook Park. They're going to start this out this week, this next weekend, 7 a.m. Saturday and 7 a.m. on Sunday. And just jog three miles, jog together, make it fun. You don't have to race. You don't have to do... You don't have to go over the top. Just yeah. just get out there and move. Cool. And that's all it takes. And sometimes when you're out there doing it with f- people that are like-minded and have the same goals, it makes it so much easier. Oh, yes. Because <laughs> it can be so dang tough to get out there and exercise during the winter, especially. So great to have that kind of support system there. Yes, absolutely. And we'll get back to all of the fun happening on the 7th. Oh, yes. Um, I just want to let people know that the Mountain Dog Club has some fun holiday photo opportunities for those pooches out there and their families. So they have all these fun things that you can dress your dog up with. They have some backdrops and super cute things. And so all those dog owners out there, um, head on over there for some photo opportunities. 408 Bailey Avenue. And then on December 8th, 
Fiddler's Crossing has Alex Zahn reading A Christmas Carol at 3 p.m. Awesome. That's a $15 charge. And we know Fiddler's Crossing is located at 206 East F Street. And you're going to want to call them to get your spot. 661-823-9994. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's rewind a little bit. And yes. See what's happening December 7th. December 7th. Before December 7th, though, I must add, tying in with the Shop Small Saturday and Black Friday, our Reindeer Rush program is here. Mm-hmm. The uh, reindeers have been dropped off at all of our stores. The passports are ready to be picked up, and the books are ready to be stamped. So, so uh, fun. <laughs> yay. <laughs> we are very excited to kick off this program. So if you're already going to be out and about doing your Shop Small Saturday or Black Friday shopping, you might as well stop by one of the participants locations to get your passport card you can go to the visitor center the depot museum the library and city hall when we're open monday through thursday to pick up that card and start stamping away finding those reindeer and um shopping at our local businesses so we're very excited about this program more information can be found on our social media and on our website liveuptatchby.com but Back to the excitement of December 7th. We know December 7th is Tatchby Hometown Christmas, the Tatchby Christmas Parade, and of course, the Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony. Yes. It is a Christmas wonderland, and we are so excited for it. So from 1 to 5 in downtown Tatchby, we are going to have various vendors, Tons of free arts and crafts for the kids, games, live music, dancing, singing, everything that you could ever imagine. Free hot chocolate, of course. Can't forget that. Yeah. Uh, And it's just going to be a ton of fun for the family, kids of all ages, kids at heart. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, everything, for the most part, is free, Uh, you know, aside from buying some trinkets and treats and things. But uh, it's it's just really going to be a way to kick off the holiday spirit in our lovely downtown. And we know the day kind of gets started with Santa, breakfast with Santa over at the Aspen Builders Activity Center. Yes. um, With the Lions Club and Rotary and so many wonderful groups coming together for that. And then the Train Depot Museum is having their pictures with Santa. Of course. So so much fun happening that day. I know there'll be more information to come, um, but just make sure you mark that day on your calendar that you'll be ready to celebrate yes the whole day and of course the Tatchby christmas parade will start at 5 30 again new route this year uh so it'll wrap all the way around Tatchby boulevard and uh in there at the depot for the tree lighting ceremony we are so looking forward to this it's going to be bigger and better than ever um and there's going to be a fun surprise mm-hmm. at the tree lighting ceremony can't say much more than that but you're not gonna want to miss it because it truly will be a hallmark movie moment and uh it's gonna be magical that's all i'll say (laughs) i don't doubt it i'm so excited (laughs) yes we are too it's been a lot of work and we are uh really excited to see this all come to fruition so be sure to be on the lookout on our social media for more information on that we also have a dedicated hometown christmas page on our website as well so if people need to recap everything, of course, um, what's happening, you know, at the wineries and breweries this weekend, Discover Tatchpee on social media, and for all the city-related events at City of Tatchpee on all platforms. Um, Claire, thanks so much for bringing in all this information. Yes, thank you so much. I love it. And have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Oh, yes. Thank you. You as well. <laughs> <laughs> and happy holidays to everybody listening. Thanks so much for taking the time this holiday week to tune in and listen to us chit chat. (laughs) All right. We hope to catch you back here next time on to Hatchpod.